Good morning, Simon Trades here. You join me at Newcastle Central Station because today we are seeing some Class 455 electric multiple units. But you want to do for T-cells, Simon, Class 455 EMUs don't go to Newcastle Central. And you're absolutely correct because we are waiting for the 0757 Blue service to take us to London King's Cross. I'm actually on this Lubo service for three hours because after Newcastle it's direct to London so our Lumo trade should be arriving now to take us to London. We're going to do about a minute montage of passing some stations and I'll meet you down at London King's Cross. So I'm just doing this bit on my phone but I'm outside London King's Cross station and obviously that ride from Newcastle on Numo. I've done some long distance journeys in my time but that wasn't one of my favourites because there was no window seat. Basically I was sitting without a window seat for three hours. Luggage space on that was very limited so I had to have the luggage right next door to me. And luckily there was nobody bed to sit in the seat next to me even though there was planned to have someone sitting next to me but they missed their train I think. But luggage space on Numo is very, very, very limited and honestly, it's a victim of their own success. My kit came down from Newcastle to King's Cross on the £1.15 ticket. That's how cheap it was. Don't get me wrong, I had a good time on it, but just some things that I've had problems with and I do like a good window view when on the trains and I did get that unfortunately. But anyway, while I was um, on that train, I did edit my video for the Clydes Moon Bell tour, so I had something to do while I was on the train anyway. So I'll go down to London used to quickly drop this suitcase off, and then we go and look for some Class 455 EMUs. I did actually have a plan to catch them 36 to Hampton Court, but I thought I missed the train to be honest, but when I got to Waterloo, I had three minutes to catch this train and I made it. Probably so in the rear four coaches to where I want to go, so I'm gonna to have to get off a of box or pack a junction really to the front four coaches so I can get to Berrylands in the front four coaches and start building at Berrylands station. But the one good thing is we're actually a class 455 electric multiple unit. So after a ride out of Waterloo Station, we're on the South Western Main Line. This is Berrylands Railway Station. This station opened on the 16th October 1933 by the Southern Railway. The reason they opened it because there was a housing development going on in this area. Now, as I mentioned, this is the South Western Main Line. It is a pretty busy Main Line, but it's also good for rail enthusiasts to come here to spot the train, stop it here with the hands of court to London Waterloo services, or just speedy through here. 
Now I did plan to have an hour here, but I might just have half an hour here. And to be honest, half an hour is just more than enough for this location. I'm going to get the half past 12 off here and go to Surbiton station which is the next station down the line. I'm going to try and film at Surbiton station but I'm not sure if we're allowed to or not because there is works being taken place at that location but we'll just give it a go anyway and see. It was a no-go at Surbiton, to be honest with you. Very nice lady came up to me and said, you're not supposed to film here. I just said I was filming the trains and she said it's no, to be honest, so it's fine. They did um, suggest to go to the supervisor office and ask the supervisor, but I couldn't find the supervisor, so I just left Surbiton. It's fair enough, understandable. But like I say, it was a gamble, didn't pay off, and I'm not really angry about it. It's like, totally understandable. So that's why I'm back at Clapham Junction Station, but I'm waiting for the 1313 service to North Sheena, I think a freight trace is coming in now. So unfortunately we can't do Surbiton, which is fair enough as I mentioned. But I've come to the next location that I had planned for today, North Sheen Station. And this is one of my favourite stations as well on the South West Railway Network. And it does have an island platform, but it only has two platforms. North Sheen Station opened on the 6th of July 1930 by the Southern Railway. And there's two things that you can find in this location. First of all, in that distance over there, allotments. There are plenty of allotments here and also you can hear planes as well because you can see the planes here landing into Heathrow Airport so you're interested in planes and trains this is the perfect location for two hobbies in one
you don't really get to the 455s here as much. So we've got a few class 455 EMUs, but mainly like 450s and 458s that are dominant on this line. But I'm going to catch the 1420 back to Clapham Junction because we're going to look at some southern class 455s now. Because we're going to do a bit of variety southern southwestern today. Okay, so this is not a Southern Class 455, this is a Southern Class 377 EMU. And we are getting off at the next station, Yule East, and this is also one of my favourite locations in London as well to fill some trains at. I've been here so many times before. Good brakes on this. We are now approaching Yule East. Thank you. So you now join me at station number three today we're filming at. Well, technically four because we did go to Surbiton, but that didn't end well. But anyway, this is station number three. This is Yule East Station, operated by Southern. And it's one of two stations in Yule because there is another one called Yule West, which is operated by Southwestern Railway. Yule West, however, only has a 30 minute service. This has more trains here. Some trains stop here, some trains speed through here. But at the moment we're only getting class 377 EMUs I'm hoping to get a class 455 at this location. I have seen 455s here in the past but we'll see how, what happens. However this station was opened on 10th of May 1847 by the Croydon and Epsom Railway. We're going to be here till 1621 and then we're going back towards London. Thank you. 
first of all, before we get into this station, I want to talk about this sign right here, this do not pass sign. Now, yes, we should not be passing these signs, but when the train pulled in at this location, the front door of the tray was actually past that sign. In fact, the, I'm showing you a picture right now on screen and when you see that door, it's literally right next to the ramp. Crazy, is it? But anyway, this is a new location I'm trying out. It's called Wallington. But it sounds like Wallington, but it's actually pronounced Wallington. As you can see, it's two platforms, but they are staggered. And I'm here for some Southern Class 455 EMUs. I did see one just arriving, which I'll explain about a bridge in a second. Now, this station was opened on 10th of May, 1847, as Carl Scholten. On the line from Croydon to Epsom, but it was actually not built by the Croydon Epsom Railway. It's actually built by the London Brighton South Coast Railway. And in 1868, it was renamed to its current name. Wallington. Also I want to point out here, it's just this lovely bridge down here. And this bridge indeed is actually very lovely to see. And you get some awesome shots of the trains arriving at this location. One thing I noticed when I was at Moddy Thief Station is Correct! That the lighting was going about 5, 6 o'clock And I think the lighting is starting to go now So pictures might not come out as good on my camera But I'm only here till half past 5 so that's a good thing However though I will go back into London Because I want to try a station on the London Underground And film some tube trades or sub-service trades on my phone See how the a session of that comes out in 4K for the channel but this station's underestimated actually you always think that people want to go to the big stations like Crewe, London Paddington, Preston, York the major stations but these stations right here are so underestimated that you can still get a good filming sessions units here We're trying to film it at Monitor Crescent Tube Station. Now, the interesting thing is, if you see my YouTube banner of the photo of it, it's actually at Monitor Crescent Tube Station. But the rest of the camera is just on that green thing right behind me there. Bear with me, we're going to give it a try and see how it is. It turns out in 4K.
I'll tell you what, it's a good thing I made Wallington the last station before I went to the underground. It started raining. <laughs> anyway, like I said, back at Euston, so it's time to pick up that bag. And then I'm waiting for the 2046 London Northwestern Railway Service to Rugeley Trev Valley. Yes, it's time to go back to Rugeley. So I'm now on the 2046 and yes, it's a 350 slash 2. 350, 231, we're thinking 350, 104 on the rear. But unfortunately I've got to be the 350 2 for Rugeley Trev Valley. Problem is, this is not a suburban route. That's why I don't like the 350 slash 2s. Anyway, can't argue, have to get what I'm given. Welcome aboard this London Northwestern Railway service to Crewe. We will be calling at Milton Keynes Central, Rugby, Uneaton, Atherston, Tamworth, Litchfield Trent Valley, Rugeley Trent Valley. So I made it back to Rugeley Trent Valley Railway Station. Now usually I'll get this 2237 to Bergen Rugeley to Rugeley Town. But well, I'm not going to do that actually because I've got a lift to get back home from here. So I'm going to put my hand on the camera now. Next time you see me, I'll be summarising today's journey up. We haven't seen the modern railway layout for a while. I'm in the shed in St James's Street. And to be honest with you, the updates on the model railway there is not really much updates, but hopefully I should be getting back on this soon. Especially with the warm weather coming, like it is absolutely boiling in the shed to be honest with you. But I'm going to talk about today's video from Manners in Newcastle to London and going around London. So we started on Lumo and honestly the trolley service, because I know someone asked in the comments last time about the trolley service or the catering. And it's just a trolley service with the basic stuff on it, but it's alright actually. I can't remember if I ordered anything off the trolley or not, to be honest with you. But the seating on Lumo, what you didn't know was that I med probably mentioned in the last blog, that it was hard to get comfy from Newcastle, from Edinburgh to Newcastle. I'm just really that uncomfortable. But coming from Newcastle to London, the seating was absolutely alright. I actually got comfortable on it. But I was busy on my laptop, to be honest, to notice the difference. But as I was in London, we actually visited a couple of railway stations. We visited Berryland. I do recommend going to Berryland. It's a brilliant station indeed. And I wouldn't recommend going to Surbiton at the moment because of the works going on. But I did actually go to Surbiton, took a gamble. It didn't pay off, which is fair enough. And I was only there for 10 minutes, filmed a couple of trays, and then a woman approached me on the other side of the platform, asked me what I was doing. I just said I was feared to fill the trays. And basically, she said you had to get permission, and she was very nice about it. So, understandable. And I really had no issues with that. But 10 minutes, I just left back to Clapham Junction. And then I went to North Sheen Station, which is another good location. I managed to get a variety of Class 450 EMUs, Class 455 EMUs and 458 EMUs. So there was a nice variety at North Sheen Station. Went back to Clapham Junction and then I went down to Yule East Station, which is Southern. And I was looking for some Class 455s down there, but there was only Class 377s, which was really disappointing, but it was okay because I do like that location. And then I tried out a new location, Wallington. And we did get some Southern Class 455 EMUs there, so it has really been good. Now, the idea of this video was to see some Class 455s because I heard they were being withdrawn on the grapevine after the live stream I had the day before. However, though, I didn't know which ones they were, so I thought I'd do a bit of Southwestern Railway and a bit of Southern. 
turns out it's going to be the Southern 455s that are being withdrawn in May. The 455 slash 8s. And it's a real shame really because they are good units but they had been around for 40 odd years to be honest. So there will be some videos in the future of the class 455 Southern EMUs on this channel. I've actually got two blogs planned for that but I'm not going to say anything at the moment. And then after the visited Monitor Crescent tube station just to do some filming there. And then I went back to London Euston to pick up the bag and went back to Rugeley and that's it basically. And it has really been a good journey apart from Surbiton. So it's about time to do the usual YouTube stuff. So if you feel free to like this video, subscribe, comment down below. And also if you want to comment, comment class 455. So I know you just watched it, but it's up to you on that one. Also I want to say that I do actually have a Patreon if you want to support me on Patreon. YouTube channel memberships, Kofi. And I've also now got a Discord if you'd like to join the Simon Train Discord server, which will be in the pinned comment down below. I have been Simon Trains, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you for another vlog pretty soon.